What's up, beeps? My face here. Today we got a big RTA. It's a 40 millimeter RTA. Was sent to me by Vapors Cloud. This is the Valkyrie XL RTA. Let's dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this RTA. We'll do coil placement, cotton. We're also going to do a test to see how much liquid this fits because they don't state it anywhere. We'll come back. We'll vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Valkyrie XL. And here's the packaging the Valkyrie XL by Vapors Cloud comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a user manual. You get this baggie with extra O-rings and extra post screws. And the RTA. Now the RTA is going to come in a few different colors. I got the matte black here and the stainless steel. I'm sure they're going to come out with a gunmetal version. The bottom of the RTA says Vapors Cloud. You have your 510 serial number, 40 millimeter on top. You're going to have your drip tip. This is a huge drip tip that's on here. Let's pop it out. And there you can see this is not a regular 810 drip tip. This is their drip tip. It's not an 810. You do have top fill, turn, core to turn. Here are your fill ports. Over here, you're going to have your airflow controller. So it is a top airflow RTA. Does not come with the bubble glass. You get a straight glass on here. They don't mention what the ML capacity is in here, but we will be doing a measurement on it to see how much liquid this fits. Turn. It is a little bit on the squeaky side. <laughs> All right, and there's the build deck. We'll get to the build deck in a second. Over here is going to be your airflow. This does pop out. There's the inside of your chimney. You can see right there and right in there. Those are your openings for the airflow. And like I said, this is just the, it feels to be plastic, this tank. I'm not 100% sure. It might be glass. They don't state it anywhere on what this is. But it kind of feels like it's a frosted glass. I could be wrong. Now, here's the build deck. So now the way this is going to work, this is going to sit when it's inside like that. Okay, so what's going on here is this is where your airflow goes in, up, and through here. And then your cotton is going to go inside these channels here. So you see while this is sitting like that, liquid's going to come in from the bottom there and there and feed the cotton that's inside here. And airflow through here. So you see as this is sitting here, you have the opening there, which that opening is going to correspond through there, through those two holes there. Now when looking at terminals, they're using flathead screws. And now we're going to put some coils inside here. Now coils I'll be using in this video are Valhalla coils. These are from Vapors Cloud. I've had these for a while. I've been saving them to use them for a special occasion. Four millimeter coils. There are the stats. And there's the coils. Now, when cutting your coils, I recommend six millimeters with a coily tool. I got both coils placed inside there. Very simple to build on. Nice beefy post screws here. And now with my coiling rod, I'm just going to set them in place right where I want them. And now I'm just going to pulse the coils to get all the hot spots out. And you want them to glow from the inside out. Now that I got the cotton positioned, I'm going to cut it like right in between. I want it to lay right inside here. So I'm just going to basically judge it by grabbing it like that and just cutting it. And we're most likely going to do some more adjustments with this. i do the same thing on this side. All right, we got those ends off. Now we're going to do a comb out. Nice comb out here. Oh, you guys know what we're going to do with these leftovers here. What are we doing with these leftovers? Leave a comment down below if you know what we're going to do with all these leftover fuzzballs here. Right there, all this stuff here. Oh, and yes, a little under under. So yeah, leave a comment down below about the fuzzballs. All right, so some under under action on that. Oh, look at that. More for him right there. Now I'm going to trim fuzzballs. go and let's set this in place we might need to trim this a little bit more it does fall in there nice all right so we have plenty of room in there all right i think i was off camera placing that but we'll do it on this one here let me trim a little bit off the side there there we go a little bit off of here all right, we're going to grab the tweezers and stick it right inside that hole. And you don't want to force it down there. You want it to flow with your comb out. 
So this way, your liquid just flows beautifully. All right, there we go. Now we're going to put some liquid on it. I'm going to use some of this Grape Apple Atlanta PKG. This is from Paradon Distro. Right, so we'll get it started. And yes, we're also going to do a test to see how much liquid fits inside here. And obviously, we have to count. Do, do we count this liquid? Because this is going to get about an ml of liquid just saturating this cotton here. So might as well count that in there too. All right, we'll fire it up. Let it suck in that liquid. A little bit more. There we go. All right, so I thought I hit record when I put this tank back together and I already dumped the first syringe of liquid in there. So I do have five mLs of e-liquid inside here. And I have another five right in here. So let's finish this off. Let's see how much it fits. All right, let's get that in. This might fit more than 10 mLs. <laughs> Let's see. All right, right there, right now, we have 10 mLs of e-liquid in here. Yeah, I think we could get more. Let's see, let's squeeze. Yeah, I figure you get about, I put 10, I just dumped this liquid in here. I put the liquid that was on the cotton. This might be close to 12 mL e-liquid capacity. All right, so I'll put that top cap back on, make sure everything is tight, and we are ready to vape. And there you go, that was the Valkyrie XL by Vapors Cloud. Let's go back on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close Valkyrie XL by Vapors Cloud. Mike, your thoughts? Pros and cons. Now, before we get into pros and cons, if you love vaping, if vaping has helped you quit smoking, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know if you're into these big monster tanks, hit that notification bell icon so you get notified when I have a new video up on YouTube. Huge shout out to my Patreon peeps. Okay, Mike, pros and cons. We'll start off with cons with this. First cons have to be the drip tip. For me, this drip tip makes it almost unvapable. For me, I just, it's too big. Some people love this stuff. Me personally, I, w I wish there was an A10 drip tip on here. I would do 400 watts with an A10. It's hard to do high powered wattage with this big ass drip tip that's on here. So kind of, yeah, I don't like the drip tip. For me, the drip tip doesn't have to be a con, but that's a personal preference, I guess. Mike, do you have any other cons? Look, it's gonna be a con that it's a big tank, but obviously if you're purchasing this big tank, it's really not a con. Yeah, you're, if you're into big tanks, it's not a con. It makes no sense. Yeah, I can't really fault it for anything. I really don't have nothing to really complain about functionality of the tank. When it comes to airflow, you can have plenty of airflow. Pro. Build deck, super easy to build on. Pro. You have bottom to top airflow. Don't have to worry about leaking. That's going to be a huge pro to a lot of people. You have an easy quarter turn top fill. Pro. Liquid capacity. About 12 mLs. In this 12 ml e liquid capacity, I was kind of shocked for some reason. I thought I was gonna get maybe seven, eight. I wasn't expecting 12 in here. So, for liquid capacity, it's a huge pro, and you need that kind of liquid capacity because this is a high powered RTA. You're gonna need a high powered mod to operate this thing, and it's gonna drink the juice, all right? It's gonna drink that liquid that's inside there. So, to some, that might be a con. But like I said, if you're buying a tank like this, you already know these things and it doesn't bother you. So it really isn't a con. So basically what it comes down to is my biggest complaint of the tank is just the mouthpiece. I kind of wish there was some sort of adapter included to use an A10. That would have been nice. An easy fix for this. Okay, let's vape it. Right now I got it at 200 watts. Bam, 200 watts. My coils came out to like a 0.33 and... I'm not going to take my usual deep pulls like I usually do because this is almost, it's almost like you're running a series mod when it comes to the power that I'm throwing to the coils. So it's going to be short pulls. If I try to do a long pull, which I did off camera, and oh my God, did I cough up a lung. But anyway, 200 watts, short pulls. Oh, if you guys want to see me hit this at 400 watts, make sure to watch the Hammer of God video. All right, let's hit it. Look at that. 
short burst that amount of vapor that's flowing right now across my up and close table that I have there is crazy. Another hit. Short pulls. Can you imagine 400 watts? Look, there's still vapor coming out of my mouth. Yeah, it is cloudy down here. I'm going to have the exhaust put on. Steve, put the fan on. All right, so this way you guys might hear the fan, but we're going to need it for this video. All right, we got the fan on. <laughs> that ain't doing nothing. So, flavor on this, the flavor is immense. You're going to get tons of flavor. Remember, all that fluid, liquid, hidden the coils, the cotton, it's just saturating in your mouth. Flavor, not liquid. It's The flavor is immense on here, but obviously, it's lots of power. You're going to get lots of vapor to create that awesome flavor. Let's do one more hit. Wow, the flavor... It's just awesome on this thing. Now, I got to give huge props to Vapor's Cloud for putting out an RTA like this. Especially with all the pods lately. It's like the craze. Everyone with their pods, pods, disposables, and so forth. But huge props to you guys with this tank. Who is this tank for? This tank is for you know who you are out there. You know who you are. It's for those people that love big mods, big tanks, high power. I don't think there's too many people that vape that way. Maybe I'm wrong. There probably is people that vape that way. It's not for the beginner. Let me put it that way. This is definitely not for the beginner. You have to be already into RTAs, RDA lover. If you're into that kind of stuff, a tank like this, you will need a big mod to power. Now, you could put it on a regular, like a DNA mod or something, like a 250. You're still going to have enough power for the coils. That's no problem. It's you're going to have overhang because it is a four, 40 millimeter tank. It will have overhang. Now this mod, you ain't getting no overhang. And there's like a re little mini fridge over here. Anyway, like I said, review coming soon. All in all, it's a nice tank. It vapes good. For me, I kind of wish the drip tip was an A10. Or I wish they would have put an adapter in there. So I could downsize the drip tip that's on here. Because... It's just a little bit too big of a drip tip for my taste. But when it comes to flavor, vapor, ease of building, airflow, you're going to love this RTA if you're into big 40 millimeter RTAs. And there you go. That was the Valkyrie XL RTA by Vapors Cloud. In the description below, there'll be no links to this RTA. You guys already know the deal. I can't. Not allowed. Good old YouTube policies. We'll have links to me, Mike Vapes, down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe and keep on vaping.